Hey guys, what's up? So today's video is actually a little bit different. As you can see by the title, I'm doing my very first story time. What? I have never done a story time before on my channel and I've always wanted to. I love watching YouTuber story times. They are so interesting to me. I really wanted to be a part of it, but I could not remember any good stories, so... But one finally did come to me and I'm excited to show you guys, or share, show, show what? I'm excited to share with you guys this story. This actually did happen to me. This is not clickbait in the slightest. I hate clickbait. I will never do that to you guys. But I don't want my entire channel just to be revolved around makeup. Like, yes, that's who I am, but that's not all of me, if that makes sense. Like, I'm definitely not like your average beauty guru. I don't think so, at least. I think I'm a little bit different. And I want to be different. I don't want to be like every single person else. Or, I can't speak high. I don't want to be like every other YouTuber that does makeup because it's just, you know, it gets, it gets old after a while. I want to be able to post whatever I want on my channel and one of those being is story times. Even though I don't have many, but I have a few that I can share with you guys. So if you love story times as much as I love story times, give this video a big thumbs up. And yeah, I think we should just get started. So let's get into it. So this story time is, as you can see by the title, is when my family thought I got kidnapped and the cops looked for me. This is not, not clickbait, letting you know that. My family really did believe I got kidnapped and the cops really did look for me. So this started out when I was about 10 or 11 years old, probably 11 years old, and my dad's birthday was either like the day, the day like after or two days from then. It was around my dad's birthday. And I really wanted to go to Safeway and get him something special, maybe like cake or a balloon. You know, I don't really remember what my 11 year old mind wanted, but it was something to do with his birthday. I know I wanted cake. I know I wanted to get him cake. If you don't know what Safeway is, it's just um, a grocery store. It's in Northern California. If you live in Southern California, it's, it's Bonds, but it's just your average grocery store. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to Safeway and I'm gonna get him stuff. And when he gets home from work, it'll just be like on the table. He will see it and it'll be like awesome. Like, oh, happy birthday. Like. I got you cake. Like, I don't remember. But yeah, so that's what my, my plan was. That's what I was thinking. So my dad called me and he was just like, oh, what are your plans today? And I was like, oh, nothing. I'm just going to stay home. Yeah. Because my little 11 year old mind thought if I told him I was going to Safeway right before his birthday, he knew I was going to get him something. Like he just knew my purpose of going to Safeway was getting him something for his birthday. And I did not want that to happen. I wanted this to be a complete surprise. I did not want him to know anything. I just wanted him to come home to cake and a balloon or something like that. So I call up my family friends, my neighbors. Um, there are two women. Um, they live in different apartments, but I called them both. And I was like, hey, like I really want to go to Safeway and get my dad something special for his birthday. Will you drive me? Because I didn't want to walk. Like I literally live like a five minute walk from Safeway. Literally that close. But um, I didn't want to walk because you know, I was 11. You know, I'm a little scared. I don't want to walk. So I was like, hey, can you drive me? I really want to do something special for my dad. And they're like, oh, sure, of course. Like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> so after they called me, I was like, okay, I don't have a key to get back in. Okay, so um, I'm going to go and I'm going to unlock the back door slider. You know, just like a glass door slider. I'm going to unlock it so that I can hop the fence and, you know, open it and get back into my house because I don't have a key. That's very crucial to the story, so pay attention. So, you know, they pick me up. We go to Safeway. This part's a little fuzzy. I know I'm just buying stuff. And then we get back in the car. And then we drive back to my house, you know, very close. And so we have to make a U-turn to get into my like apartment complex. And so as we're making this U-turn, like we're getting into the U-turn line, I see cops coming in the opposite direction to go into the apartment complex, like cop cars, like five cop cars. And I was like, whoa, like 10% of me thought like, that's me, that's me. And then the other 90% completely took over that 10%. I was like, no way, like that's, there's no way that's for me. There's no way. So, you know, we make this U-turn and we're all like, oh, I wonder what those are for. Like, mm. so we get, we're making this U-turn. We go into my apartment complex. And as we drive up to my house or apartment or whatever, we drive up to my home. There is like five to like seven cop cars in front of my house. My dad, my brother, my sister, and her best friend all outside crying with the most scared look on their face. And I'm pulling up in this car in the back seat, and I just see my dad and we both make eye contact and he looks so scared. I, oh my gosh, I've never seen this look on my dad's face before and I felt so bad. I still feel bad to this day, man. He instantly saw me, he instantly dropped everything he was doing. This part's a little fuzzy, but I just remember I got out of the car and I like hugged him and it was like really emotional. And then I went to my brother and I went to my sister and my sister was bawling her eyes out like so sad and crying because 
they thought I was kidnapped. And the reason that I told you guys to listen to the backslider unlocking thing was because my family thought that someone came in from the back door, opened it up, got me, and went back through the back door and you know just you can't lock it from the outside so they just like you know opened it and left and took me and shut the door so it was still open. That's what they were thinking because I was not home. I was literally back door was unlocked here. So my dad probably called the cops like my daughter's kidnapped. Yeah, so that was really dramatic. So I just like remember hugging my sister and all that stuff. And then I think it was my sister's best friend. She was like, what a good gift to give to your dad, right? Did you just say that to me? I just freaked the living crap out of my family. And you go say that to me right to my face. <laughs> oh my gosh, that made me so mad. Like literally like, oh, thanks. Like I just like tortured my family and you're gonna say that. All right, thanks. So I remember being told by the cops that there is police looking around this apartment complex, looking, I live right next to a park, looking in the cop, looking in the park next to our apartment complex, looking everywhere around the area, trying to find me because they assumed I was kidnapped, which I was not. We know that I was trying to get cake for my dad. And I explained that to him and he was like, why didn't you tell me? Like, I wouldn't have thought that. And I was like, yes, you would have. <laughs> 11 year old, 11 year old mind. Yeah, and so my family friends, the cops assumed they were the ones that kidnapped me, which they, they weren't. We got that all cleared up, but that's what they first thought. So yeah, that's the story of the time my family thought I got kidnapped and the cops looked for me. That was a very, very sad part of my life because I made my family thought I was like dead, got kidnapped somewhere else. Like that's, imagine doing that to your family. That like sucks. Luckily, I wasn't like 16 like I am right now because then I'd be like really, really in trouble. Thank God I was little and didn't didn't know what I was really doing because 11 year old. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy my story times, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. Also comment below saying that you want more story times. Um, I have a few. I'm thinking about doing embarrassing school stories because God knows I have a lot of those. But um, yeah, so if you guys want more story times, give it a like and comment suggestions down below for more videos and subscribe. Y'all know the gist. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.